Dr. Gregory Hall here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the videos, do not hesitate, be generous and share. One of the most important thing you can do for us is to like this video. Today, I'm going to talk about an athlete that I should have addressed months ago because this athlete has been performing great for so long. Shawnee Miller Weibo, the Bahamian sprinter who competes in the 200 and the 400 meter. This young lady has been dominating her event, or I should say her events, for quite some time now, and the recognition that I think she deserves is not really coming her way. We know of her, but she needs to be acknowledged a whole lot more. This athlete has been performing well ever since she was a junior. She won the 400 meter gold in the 2010 World Juniors. She won the World Youth Championship in 2011. She won the Commonwealth Games impressively. She has been doing great things. So today I am going to take the time to acknowledge her for all the hard work and determination that she possessed and demonstrate to us that she is truly a force to be reckoned with. I remember watching Shawnee in 2016 when she won her first Olympic gold medal against Alison Felix. And what she did, it took pure guts and determination. She dove across the line. And from that day, I realized that she was going to be a force to be reckoned with. She is a two-time Olympic champion in the 400 meters. She won in 2016, as I just described. And she came back again recently. And she won in 2021 Tokyo Olympics with an impressive time, one of the fastest time in the history of the event. At the 2015 World Championship, Miller won silver in the 400 meter. She also won silver again in the 2019 Doha Championship. Very impressive run. Unfortunately, the person who won that race was eventually suspended. But at the end of the day, Shawnee Miller deserved to be the champion in that race. As I mentioned earlier, that Shawnee is the 2018 Commonwealth Games champion. She has a personal best of 2174 for the 200 meters. It is also the Bahamian national record. And you know, Bahamas had, has produced champions after champions. And for Shawnee to have the national record, it goes to show that she is truly great. She also holds unofficial world record in the 200 meter straight. In 2017, she set the 200 meter record then, where she ran 21.76. Whether it's on the turn or it's on the straight, this is a whole lot of running. It is said that she improved the previous record that was set by Alison Felix, which was 22.55, almost a second of the previous world record. It is also said that she has the world record in the 150 meters and the 300 meter outdoor and the 300 meters indoor. Great performance. She definitely deserves to be acknowledged. It is also reported that at the 2017 World Championship in London, she won the bronze in the 200 meter and she also finished fourth in the 400 meter. Now, one of the, the saddest thing I was able to witness was the previous Olympics, 2020 Tokyo, where in my eyes, because of the opportunity Shawnee had in the 400 meter, she did not give her best effort in the 200 meter. And that is so sad because when you have an athlete of this caliber, the schedule need to accommodate her they did it for Michael Johnson and it was well-deserved. They could have also made the change to accommodate Shawnee. Miller won the 400 silver at the 2019 World Championship in Qatar. Uh, she ran 
one of the fastest time at the time, which was 48, 36 seconds. Very impressive. But in 2020, Tokyo Olympic, and she came back and she won that race, which she now holds the Central and American and Caribbean record with a time of 48, 36. Very impressive. Shawnee, you deserve everything that you achieve in the sport. You are a hard worker. You are dedicated and you are impressive. So I want to hear your comment in the comment section. Do you think Sean Miller Weibo is one of the greatest two four sprinter in the history of the event? Let me see your comment in the comment section. I thank you all for listening. I am Dr. Gregory Horton. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.